Absolutely. I probably first want to talk about Joe Dean, former AD, uh, passed away this week and uh, meant the world to this university. And just a great, great uh, personality, great uh, energy. Uh, very much uh, w one of the reasons that uh, LSU sits atop, um, you know, the, uh, the uh, in terms of budget and, and vision in, uh, in major college football. And uh, his famous line of string music is one of those those pieces that uh, was Joe Dean, and uh, we miss him. Uh, this uh, uh, second open week, uh, we're uh, healthier, we're Looking forward to the challenge of A&M, very, uh, very talented uh, team, uh, well prepared by uh, Coach Sumlin, and uh, and of course uh, Johnny Menzel and and, uh, and that offense is special. So we're uh, we're excited to be in Tiger Stadium. Look forward to the to the challenge and uh, questions. Coach, we'll start with Bob Holton, the Arkansas Democrat Gazette. Hey, Coach, how you doing? Hey, Bob. Hey, uh, I read your twenty-two and one in games after losses at LSU, and I think four or five of those are over-ranked teams. What, what's, what's the key to you guys avoiding back-to-back -back losses? Uh, Bob, I think it's having good teams. I think it's uh, guys that uh, that have character and, and, and resolve and, and want to compete. And uh, um, it's a, uh, you know, it, it's, it's really a, uh, uh, in my mind, a, uh, a uh, personality that revolves around the players and, and, the, and the people in the organization. I think, just think there's a uh, want to win, a, a need that's uh, that's uh, you know consistent with how they work. Next is uh, Chip Howard of KZE Radio. Les, you had said earlier in the week uh, you would prefer not to have a shootout type of game. What, what's the best way to avoid something like that? Um, play good defense. Um, the uh, uh, Offensively, we're, we're going to be who we've been. Uh, I think it, it, it benefits us to, uh, you, know, you know, have balance, push the ball in the air, uh, both vertical and, and uh, intermediately. And, uh, but... Uh, um, we're uh, we're going to move the football. We're the and, and how we do it is with balance. And so, um, you know, I, I recognize the 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 lure of uh, you know running the football and getting the ball on the ground and 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 really allowing that to slow you and um, uh, to be defended. Uh, you know, in a one um, you know one mode of, of, of uh, travel, that, that being moving the ball on the ground. And we're not going to – that's not going to be our plan. So we're, we're looking at being efficient. We're going to take shots. And we're going to play LSU football. What uh, have you seen is any different, if anything, from this offense this year than the one you faced a year ago? Well, I, I think the uh, I think the quarterback certainly is a much better quarterback than he than he was a year ago. I think he's uh, uh, he, he recognizes where he needs to go with the ball. It comes out of his hand very quickly. He's uh, very accurate. Um, you know, it, it, when he runs, he runs to extend um, plays, and uh, and he's a uh, uh, you know I think their offensive line is good. I think they're their running back is their, their backs are very talented, um, but I just think the advantage or the the improvements been made there by uh, their quarterback. Thank you. Next is Zach Ellis of Sports Illustrated. Hey, coach. Uh, so much focus is on Johnny Manziel and offense, and rightfully so. But what kind of challenges does Mike Evans specifically, you know, bring uh, to to that wide receiver core? Big, tall, strong. Um, Man, a uh, guy that uh, can contest for balls routinely. So, uh, okay, we'll now go to uh, Chris Lowe of ESPN.com. Hey, Les, how are you? Hey, Chris. Hey, I wondered, you know, when you look at the West um, 
in, in the evolution in that division. Uh, I guess five of the last six national championships have come out of that division. Ole Miss's resurgence, the addition of A&M. Talk about the grind in that division, just how difficult it is game in and game out. Well, I think the challenge is tremendous. It's a, uh, there's a, uh, you know, it, it, it's a responsibility, if you will, uh, to be ready to roll. I mean, you better be able to pick that helmet up and and and, and play, you know, full on hard nose football. And uh, I, uh, you know, it's it's every week, and it's, uh, I, you know, I I can't imagine anybody wanting to play in a uh, another division that's as uh, as uh, you know, exciting, as uh, competitive uh, as there is. Do you see a change in much less? I mean, Auburn bounces back this year. I talked about Ole Miss uh, as you guys go forward. No, I, I think it's, I think this Western Division is going to be just a uh, dynamic group of uh, uh, football teams. And I, uh, I uh, you know, we look forward to competing in it. And obviously, we've and had some success, so uh, we would expect that to continue. And but again, they they make you play. It doesn't make any difference who it is. It's a uh, it's a quality team. Thanks, Les. Next, we have Spencer Tillman of CBS Sports. Les, I'm curious uh, as a head coach and as a leader, um, has the spread offense and the way uh, it's been run, particularly with prolific quarterbacks like Johnny Manziel and others, um, change the way uh, what constitutes good defense anymore. You see metrics starting to emerge like points per drive and so forth. Uh, has what defines good defense changed as a result of this attack? I don't, I don't think there's any question that there's more points being, being scored that, uh, that stops sort of a premium, that uh, there's a uh, – uh, longer drives and, and shorter uh, amounts of time, and uh, uh, when you look at the uh, the great one, you know, uh, spread uh, quarterbacks Cam Newton and uh, Manziel and Tebow, uh, you know, different styles and, and different kinds of guys, but uh, really allowed for an efficient uh, attack. You know, you know, receivers across the field, ability to throw the ball. And, you know, knowing that the, the best play action that, that there is is that play action where the quarterback puts in his hand, steps down like it's a, it's a run, and then steps back and throws the ball. So, I, uh, yeah, I, I, I kind of understand it, that uh, it requires a more athletic defense. It requires a, a, uh, a uh, understanding of rush lanes and, and option responsibilities. And uh, it's not uh, just get the third down and, and run up the field. Fair enough. Thank you, sir. Thank you there, Spencer. Next is Sean Cartel, the SEC Digital Network. Coach, your, uh, your team has played with some frequency in Atlanta with the SEC Championship and the Chick-fil-A events. And now Atlanta has a role in the new college football playoff. Uh, just from your perspective and having played there, what makes Atlanta so great uh, for college football? Well, the, the town itself is a wonderful place. It's uh, there's there's a lot going on there. Our players uh, found Atlanta. I mean, there's aquariums and, and uh, there's there's places to eat and there's movies and social life and uh, it's a great place to visit. I can't imagine that uh, that people would want to go to the city of Atlanta and vacation in front of a, a bowl game and. Uh, Certainly, the experience of those, that group—they uh, know how to host a, a football team. They know how to put on a great event, and, and for me, it's a very logical choice. It's uh, you know, a, uh, it, it's a great hub to travel to, and 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 people will look forward to not only watching the game but uh, arriving in Atlanta as a destination. Thank you. Next is Mike Herndon of AL.com. Morning, Les. Hey, Mike. Hey, you talked a little bit earlier about Manziel improving this year. You guys did a, seem to do a really good job of kind of keeping him hemmed in and limiting him last year. Do you have the same kind of plan defensively, or do you think you need to throw some new things at him with the improvements that he's made? Yeah, I, I think we're we're uh, we're a little different defense than we were, and that we're we'll have to do some some different things. But uh, 
the principles that we used certainly will be similar. And, uh, uh, you know, we're, uh, we're certainly, we recognize there's a great challenge there, but we're really looking forward to playing them. Coach, wrap you up with Chase Goodbread of NFL.com. Coach, can you tell us about the kind of year that Collins has had for you at the left tackle position and, and what kind of future he has in, in the sport? Uh, is, is he kind of, uh, you know, in the same vein maybe with Saran Black and some of the other really good left tackles you've had? Well, I think he's a, uh, a, a big, strong, very capable tackle. Uh, I think he's uh, just scratching the surface of how good he's going to be. And uh, yeah, I... Uh, yeah, I would expect that uh, he's a uh, a guy that will, you know, play for a number of years after his college career. He's, uh, you know, he, he's got the right mindset, uh, probably the most uh, important uh, criteria of a uh, of a player that will have a future is uh, having the ability intellectually to want to dominate and yet still uh, recognize the uh, scheme that we're running.